Students will learn an important method known as integration by parts. This method is generally used when you have product of two different type of functions. For example, algebraic and trigonometric function or algebraic and log function or maybe inverse function and algebraic function. So if you have two different type of functions written as a product and that product has to be integrated, we use this method. In this method, it's important that you select, carefully select part 1 and part 2 from the given product. Now, how you select part 1 or part 2? For that, we use this technique. This is a preference order for selecting part 1. Okay, this I stands for inverse function, L for log function, algebraic, trigo and exponential. Now, this is a decreasing preference order. So, if you have a product of, say here, algebraic and trigo function, algebraic and trigo, so we will give preference to algebraic function and it will be selected as P1 part 1 and this is P2. In this example we have algebraic function and log function, algebraic and log. So log has higher priority so this will be selected as P1 part 1 and this is selected as P2. In this case we have algebraic and inverse function, algebraic and inverse, inverse has high priority. So inverse function is selected as P1 and this is P2. Once you have made the selection of P1 and P2, this is how we integrate that product. You take P1 out of integral and integrate only part 2 minus, here you write derivative of part 1, multiply it with integral of part 2 and this product to be integrated again. Okay, now we will understand this with the help of example. Let's see. Let's see the first example. Here we have a product of algebraic and trigonometric function. So I select this as P1 and this as P2. Now using this formula, I'll uh, take P1 out of integral, integrate part 2 minus derivative of part 1 into integral of part 2 and this product to be integrated again. Integral of cosine x is sine x. Differentiate, you get 1. Integral cos x is sine x and this to be integrated again. Now integral of sin x is minus cos x, so you will get plus cos x and we attach or add c a constant. So this is the final answer. Okay, see it's a very useful technique. We could easily integrate this product of two functions. Let's see another example. Let's see this next example. Here we have algebraic function and logarithmic function multiplied. So we will select preferably the log function as p1 part 1 and this as p2. Now using the formula, I will take part 1 out of integral and integrate part 2 minus derivative of part 1 into integral of part 2 and this product to be integrated again. Integral of x is x square by 2. Now here you differentiate log x, you get 1 by x. Integrate this, you get x square by 2. Now, integral of x is x square by 2. So, this further can be written as this is the final answer. Okay. Let's see another example. So, let's see another example. Integral of log x. This seems to be a single function. We will write like this and take log function as p1, this as p2 using the formula for integration by parts take p1 out integrate only part 2 derivative of part 1 into integral of part 2 and the product to be integrated again okay integral 1 is x so we get x log x here differentiate log x 1 by x integrate 1 we get x okay so we get 1 here x and x cancel out. Integral of 1 is x. So this is the final answer. So 
So it's a very good technique. In some cases, it's not easy to integrate a function, but by this method, it becomes simple. This example is very important. It's good if you can remember the result as well. Okay, we'll see more examples as we move.